All right, hey, YouTubers. Um, I haven't made a video in forever, and this is, like, totally uh, not one of the videos I normally make. Something different, I guess. Um, so, babe <laughs> bought me a new Polaroid camera. That's right. It's a Polaroid. So, this will be the second one-step Polaroid, okay? instant just like the old school one uh the pictures look vintage um it come can't see there we go um like it says it's really easy to use it comes with a charger and it has a self timer on it these are the films that you are supposed to get with it and i'll go ahead and i'll go ahead and uh show you them so this here is the 600 film. Now, the 600 film is for the 600 camera, but it is compatible with the one step. Okay. This here is the impossible. So it's the color frames. And the eye type film is the actual film that goes for this camera. As you can see, it is an eye type camera. So this is the original film and I'm going to show you the difference of the films. Okay, so this was the first shot that I took, um, the little tester of, oops, of myself. And those little lights literally came out of nowhere. And I think, I think it's pretty dope though. I think it's really, really dope. So this film is this film. Okay. And it does say sorry to store it in the refrigerator so this film has been in the refrigerator because i only used a few of them because sorry because i ended up getting the 600 impossible now these films with this camera gives off a dope old school uh vintage feel i guess this was the very first picture that I took with the uh, 600 impossible. So the 600 impossible, as you can see, has the color borders around it. That's my Instagram. Oh, I don't want to clear up Topanga meets world, but uh, this picture to me is really dope. And this picture was, uh, I was testing the uh, self timer. And as you can see, it worked very well. And you can see my Instagram a little better down there. So, yeah, um, the 600 impossible frames. I Like I said, this is the color frames. I'm not sure if it's all of, I think it is all of those colors because I've gotten most of those colors already. And um, I think the regular, so the regular 600 films are compatible with this camera as well. So I think if you get the regular 600, not the, the impossible project, um, the pictures will probably come out a little bit clear, I guess. And more like this, more clear, low HD, I guess. So I'm not sure... Um, if you can hook this camera up to a computer and act, and it can read your pictures as you're taking them. I'm going to actually try to find that out and I will do a update video once I do find out. <clears throat> but this camera's dope. It's really really dope. It's like it's just like the old school one. Um super super sleek, super fly. Um it came with this sticker i kind of just put the sticker right there because it made it look cool i guess and uh this is just going to just be a little view of the camera this is the button to take the picture this is the self timer button the flash of course <clears throat> this is how you can control the flash the lens Turn it on or off. Um, when you turn it on, it shows you how many films you have left. Only an eight eight films can fit in, which is one pack. So each pack comes with eight films, and that's all of them. So yeah, it tells you that, and it also comes with a uh, 
a neck thingy, little traveler thingy. So um, I'm flying out to the Bay Area tomorrow and I cannot wait to use my camera. And I hope all my camera heads um, hop up on this Polaroid thing. They got a bunch of cameras. They have this cool camera called a Polaroid Pop. I think that's going to be the next one I get. But yeah, I love it.